from the newly formed association called the Alaskan Malamute Club of the Philippines. Let's call on stage Mr. Jun Suma, our director, Mr. Jojo Alejandrino, our president, our vice president, Mr. Joshua Chua, and our treasurer, Ms. Honey Gulliarman, and of course, the secretary, Mr. J.R. Pickingbound, with his Malamute Cassidy. Good afternoon, hi. <laughs> Okay, I think Hello. I'll move over here. <laughs> oh no, there's more. <laughs> All right. Hi, right. right, good afternoon everyone. Uh, we're the officers of the uh, Alaskan Malamute Club of the Philippines. As you guys know, this, uh, this breed is particularly new in our country. So we'd just like to give you a short introduction about the breed. Uh, basically, um, the breed is, is not man-made. Because uh, a lot of most of the breeds, uh, a lot of the breeds are man-made, but this is a very um, old, ancient breed. Um, there are two sizes. Basically, there's a big Malamute and a bigger Malamute. So, yeah. Um, and what what are they used for? Um, what I can tell you in Alaska, they they are used for weight pulling. Uh, in olden times, um, let's say we're very familiar with the Siberian Husky, diba? Right? If an, uh, a person from Alaska wants to go to to a place from point A to point B at a, fa at a faster rate, they probably put their Huskies in. But if they want to pull a large weight, they would put their Malamutes in. So you get it. Parang ang mga Husky, parang uh, sedan. And ang mga Malamutes parang F-150 or SUV. Parang heavy duty. Yeah. No, right. So, um, what what else can I say about the breed? Uh, they're not wolf hybrids, I already said that. And the only thing that uh, that distinguishes the, the Malamute from a Husky aside from their size would be their eyes. Um, Malamutes are not allowed to have blue eyes or different colored eyes. So uh, it's just brown? And yes, it's just brown. Okay. How long has your club um, been established? Like, how long have you guys been around? You're new, you're new yes. relatively new, yeah? Um, our club has been around for a year, but the breed has been in the country since 2006. So, let's say I wanted to get one of these beautiful dogs, right? How do I get in touch with you guys? Uh, you can get in touch. Uh, with us to our, well we have a booth so basically anything about uh, Malamutes in the Philippines we, we are the trusted group uh, to contact versus the non-trusted group sorry uh, well I don't know what to do but there are a lot of scammers out there because it's becoming a popular breed so just be aware of that okay how difficult or how easy is it to manage like one of these dogs because they're big I mean you know without my wedges I'm only 5'2 <laughs> So like, let's say I wanted to get one of them. How, how easy are they to train and, you know, are they indoor, uh, outdoor dogs? Um, basically, it, it's a lot of work for, to train a man in it because um, they're, they, you have to exercise them, the attention. They need to work. Yes. It makes them happy to work, right? Exactly. Alright, so once again, you have a booth right over there. Yes. If anybody's interested, come visit us. Uh, look at these beautiful, beautiful dogs. I mean, I want one. But I don't know if I'm capable, but... Uh, <laughs> here's Jojo to talk more about our club. Uh, hi, good afternoon everyone. Uh, the Alaskan Malamute Club of the Philippines aims to educate and promote the breed. Like June said, it's relatively new here in the Philippines. And we'd like you to encourage you guys to know about the majestic breed and uh, join us in our meetups. We do meetups in out of town and uh, also in Ayala Triangle, bon Bonnie High Street, and uh, other uh, places that we bring our pets with to socialize them. It's very important to socialize these dogs because they're quite large and I it know. can get dangerous if they're not. So um, watch out for our uh, next activities in the coming months. We we go to Tagaytay sometimes, Batangas, and. We encourage every one of you to join. We do not charge any fees. We just want you to enjoy uh, your dogs with us. Basically, that's it. Okay. <laughs> I'm shaking because, you know, it's right there. 
<laughs> okay, um, we're gonna have a game coming up, right? right. Yeah. Yes. So uh, please join us, join us in the game. We we bring your dog here. It's open to all breeds, yes, right? Everybody who's here breeds. who has a pet with them, a dog preferably. Will you? We're gonna have it we can, over we can there. Put the, we can set it up right now. We'll set it up right Oh, now. we'll set it up. All right, so we're gonna do it on stage. Basically, that should be the interesting. Game, um, yeah. <laughs> okay, let me just scoot over. All right, so how does the game go? It's, it's called a, Temptation it's Alley. It's a Temptation yeah? Alley game. Uh, we put uh, the dogs in one side, and the owner should be in the other side to call their pets. However, it's called Temptation Alley because we put treats in the floor. If your dog eats the treat, you lose. <laughs> you win by uh, having a good relationship with your dog and calling him out without any distractions, even food. Okay? So please join us. You just line up there or here we've with had your dog. Some, we've had some friends confirm, right, that they're going to yes. join. And again, it's open to any um, breed. It's not exclusive for um, Alaska Malamute Club. If you have a dog and you're here, you're allowed to join. So again, it's called Temptation Alley, and there's going to be treats and other distractions along the way. And the goal is to have the dog go straight to the owner, right? Yes. Without being distracted. Yes. Okay. All right. Where's a safe place to be? <laughs> So the dogs are going to be on this side or that side? Alright, so we're laying out the treats slash distractions all over the floor. And that's a lot of treats, a lot of distractions. <laughs> so a tip, maybe you can, you know, feed your dogs already so they're not tempted so easily. Remind them that, you know, you love them and they love you back. All right, do we have our contestants? Okay, I'm gonna... Where are the dogs gonna the be up here? All right. Stay here. So we I can should hold your over here. here. And then we, let's we stay here on the other side. All right, so this is contestant number one. Okay. What's your, what's, what's your dog's name? Uh, Jenna. How old is Jenna? Um, 11 months. 11 months, ooh. Okay, let's see how it goes. Okay. June, ready. One, two, three. Call her. Yeah! There we go! That was not even... She, was, she didn't even look. She didn't even look at the temptation. Oh my gosh. Okay. We're giving out stuff. We're giving out we uh, have, uh, GTs, right? Yeah. yeah. Jamba Juice. And uh, Loot Bag from Pet Express. Alright. Congratulations. Okay. Contestant number two. Let's see how this goes. Oh, more treats, trying to make it more difficult. <laughs> Sir, what's your dog's name? Amber. Amber, how old is Amber? Five months. Five months, okay. And do you train her regularly? Not really, okay, this should be interesting. Let's see if she falls for the temptations laid out before her. Are we ready? One, two, three, go. Very good. <laughs> Looks like we're gonna run out of prices. It's a good thing we have a lot. All right, do we have any other contestants? We are giving out GCs from Jamba Juice and... Yeah, we took my advice. We fed their dogs prior to coming up on stage. Okay, contestant number three. Oh, looks nervous. Hi, what's your dog's name? Mondex. 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 How old is Mondex? 10 years old. Okay, do you oh. think Mondex is gonna make it or are you we worried? <laughs> He's shy. Mondex. Very really good. Oh. <laughs> it's okay, he didn't eat the treats. So oh. he's like, for a good job, Mondex. Okay. Don't be mad at me. <laughs> oh. Alright. And our fourth contestant, equally nervous, yeah. I think. I like the little outfit. <laughs> she dressed up for this event. Yeah. <laughs> That's true effort. Yeah. Hi, what's the name of your dog? Basha. Basha, how old is Basha? Three years old. Three years old. Now, has Basha had any experience ignoring treats? Um, today. <laughs> today. Okay, have you fed her? 
Yes. Okay, let's see how this one fares. Come on, Basha. Okay, go there. All right. Oh, not interested. Basha! 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 Oh! Basha! 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 Eyes on the prize, honey. All right. <laughs> Good job. It pays to, have, you know, have a relationship with your dog, yeah? Nobody's oh, eating the treats, huh? Yeah. What, what, are, what are the treats? <laughs> What's the name of your dog? Yes. Hershey. Hershey. Okay, how old is Hershey? Uh, eight months. Eight months. Okay, good luck. Let's go. Beautiful. Ciao. on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> All right, who's next? Hi, what's your name of your dog? Winter. 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 How old is Winter? One year old. How do you think Winter will be? <laughs> Not sure. All right, let's go. Come on, Winter. Oh, no. <laughs> Christian. Christian. Okay, how old is Christian? I'm um, 21. Okay, what do you think is going to happen? You good enough? Okay, let's do this. Come on, Christian. Good day. Good day. Alright. Christian survived. Congratulations. You can claim your loot bag over there. Aw, the next one reminds me of my dogs. I have two Maltese. Puppies, yeah. Aww. All right, what's the name of your dog? Kofi. Kofi, okay, how old is Kofi? Six months. Optimistic or not so sure? Not so sure. Not so sure, all right, let's go. Come here, come here. Hey. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. Let's see, oh. Okay, how do we judge that? He wins. Aw, <laughs> good job, congratulations. Congratulations. Do we have more contestants? Like for the other for the other gift packs, they can claim it at the booth, right? Oh, we have more. Huh. I want one. <laughs> All right. Oh, what's the name of your dog? Jade. Hey. Okay. How do you think? This is Vanessa. She owns Jade. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, he's a Philippines okay. champion in the dog shows. Uh 
from attorney Jenny Serrada and Honey Villaroman. So, that's it. Let's call them in. Would like to call them in to explain a little more about the Yellow Dog Project. I was seated over there backstage and uh, I kind of got a couple of uh, hints about what the project is about, but to explain everything in detail, we'll be having this discussion. I think it's very beneficial and I think a lot of people will take a lot from this discussion. Okay, we're taking away all the distractions. Distractions, so-called. Yeah, I've kind of distracted them a bit. Once again, this is uh, presented to you by the Alaskan Naomi Club of the Philippines. All right. Photo of Princess now. We're not done yet. 30, 10. All right. 
So we're going to talk about the YOLO dog project. I'm going to scoot over <laughs> where it's safe. <laughs> it's kind of safe here, I think. All right, we're obligated to wear our little Malamute hat because we are um, the adopted Malamute of the Alaskan Malamute Club. Um, he's really a golden retriever and his name is Hunter, but for today, he will be called Anuniak. He has an Inuit name as well as um, like the other Malamute owners. Now, um, we wish to introduce um, quite a serious topic today. It's called the Yellow Dog Project. Now, um, you may ask, what is the Yellow Dog? project. You will see my friend here, Jacob. He's wearing some yellow ribbons on his leash and on his harness. Now, the Yellow Dog Project is a global movement to educate pet owners that there are certain dogs that are in need of space. You know, it's called Dinos, D-I-N-O-S, Dogs in Need of Space. Now, you know, dogs in need of space, they're not bad dogs. They're not aggressive dogs in the, in the true sense of the word, you know? But these are dogs that really need to be given a lot of space, you know? But people need to respect the space around this dog. Now, Jacob is fine, you can see here. Jacob is fine with Hunter. They've been training for years together. And Honey and I are also friends. And, you know, so Jacob's comfortable with me. He's comfortable with my dog, Hunter. But he may not be comfortable with your dogs, even if your dogs are friendly. Um, if you see a dog that has a yellow ribbon on his leash or on his collar, please give that dog space. Please do not let your dogs approach um, a dog in need of space. Um, you know, and it's not just limited to um, you know, some reactive dogs. Yeah. Um, these could also be applicable to dogs with um, who are undergoing training. You know the, the service or the canine dogs that you see in the malls? You're not supposed to approach them. They are working dogs and they need also their space. They need to be given space to do their jobs. You know, also senior dogs. You know, some senior dogs, like, like probably a lot of us when we get older, you know, we get a little bit cranky. So senior dogs also need to be given space. So when you see, or, or what about? Other dogs who are recuperating from injury. You know, maybe they dogs are, that, you know, just had surgery recently and are in a little bit of pain. Yeah. Or maybe even dogs that were, are, are in heat or are in season. I mean, we all have to walk our dogs, you know, every day. And some of us, they might, you might not have yards, you know, for your dogs to body in. So we have to walk them and we have to keep other dogs away from our dogs also. So these yellow ribbons may look pretty and, you know, may kind of attract attention. I have a friend who put a yellow ribbon on her Akita, who was also a reactive dog. And people, instead of giving the dog space, even approached the dog because they said, are you, president, are you a presidential dog? Are you campaigning for President Pinoy? You know, so things like that. Um, we just wish to, um, um, you know, spread the word. If you have a dog in need of space, if you have a reactive dog, or you have a dog who's in training, if you have a working dog, you have a dog who's suffering an injury, you know, put a yellow ribbon and you know, encourage other people to know what this means. So if you approach, if you see a, yellow, uh, um, a dog with a yellow ribbon, either move away or allow the other person to move away. You know, no questions asked. You know, we don't need to explain why we don't want our dogs to be approached. So just with the, um, with the presence of the yellow ribbon, we will just let ourselves understand that these are dogs in need of space. But let's just remember that, you know, just because the dog is in need of space does not mean that he will not undergo training so that, you know, that he will become more comfortable with people. But just in the meantime, while he's still undergoing training, let us all respect what the yellow ribbon means. Yeah, if you notice, I've been giving treats to Jacob. This is a very, very stressful situation for him. He can't handle large crowds, especially with 
um, strange dogs around. He's had trauma before, getting attacked by an off-leash dog. And um, I, was, I was bitten in the process. So um, if you notice, I'm also training while I'm 